him shaking his head and what ass he does have left. <laughs> this is his overseer right here. <laughs> and all of us right here are just friends of Rob. We're very lucky to got the invitation here at EA. So yes, Rob is Rob. That's my partner. That's my partner. Even though he can't hear us right now, he's too busy trying to spin music. He's too busy being popular. So, as this event goes on, I will continue to make more coverage, find some game designers. Can't really speak to the legal department because they're not allowed to speak on camera. So, um, when I find a game designer, you best believe they will get interviewed here for the anime and video game world. Say cookie. Okay. So, my name is Fo Sung Lizard Cookie. I'm the CEO and a mistress of God. A company in which I'm using right now to be an internet voice in the world of video games and anime. Technically, I'll cover anything dealing with women characters from the fighting video games and anime. But being here at EA, I wanted to give the fans and people of the internet world a glimpse of what is it like being a game designer or a game developer or a game programmer. What is it like? Tell me. When you got this job, what was it like for you? Alright, Bart's gonna break it in now. He says he's getting it for dog. You want to know from the beginning where I started or, 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 or specifically when it comes to game here? programming the issues? I'm specifically when it comes to game programming. Well, in, in game programming, it really helps to have a, 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 a sense of responsibility, a sense of dedication to what you're doing. Right. And so, uh, uh, I think one of the, the, the difficulties and one of the, the, the benefits is that you're working in a team environment while also sort of achieving your, your, your own, your own objectives. Right? So the, the difficulties you take on because this is what you want to do. And you also take on uh, 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 the, the difficult times because you're working with you know other people. You are you know, you know, I, you hear it said where, you know, soldiers fight for the guy next to them. And for me, when it comes to, to making games, I don't do it just for me. I do it for them as well. And I find that when we work together, we do things for each other. We do things for the, for the, for the game, for the product. But we very often, or I, I very often am doing it for the guy next to me. So that they, you know, not just so that they'll do that for me, but because I think that's just the way things work. And so, there are time crunches. Things have changed a lot in the last few years. I've been doing this for, for more than 10 years now. Uh, uh, things should be a lot different. There were smaller teams, but there were issues in the company where uh, uh, the company, uh, uh, for, for, for legal reasons and for that's the reason that they did it, but for the re reasons of not burning people out and to keep the people that they have, we ended up you know, having more staff and making things a lot easier. So when it comes to crunches and uh, uh, you know, working long hours, it's not as much of an issue as it was before. And it was never really an issue for me, right, personally. When you program your video gaming, uh, is it usually with Java, C++, J++, what is the, um, the programming language for the majority of the game? Uh, the primary language is used is C++. Okay. And Would you say it's the most flexible? Well, it's the most uh, uh, low-level language. So you, no matter what the platform is, you're getting a, you're getting close to the hardware. So it requires an understanding of the hardware itself. But C++ allows you to get really, really close to the hardware. Most of the, the, the programming that I've done has been a little a higher level uh, than a C++. So I do do some C++ development and. Uh, 
so I've, I've worked a lot in what, uh, what we call scripting languages, which which tend to uh, uh, be specific to a particular game. Not necessarily the scripting language itself, but how that scripting language is used. So I've worked on Sims games for, for a very long time. And the Sims games are based, uh, they're written in C++ at, at the engine level, but the behavior of the games, the behavior of the characters in the games, is implemented through a scripting language. So in a sense, the game itself, or the, the game engine itself, is a shell, and the scripting languages allow you to do a lot more higher level behavior. Uh, for example, in a Sims game, if I want a, a character to go, 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 go to a chair, sit in a chair, I say go to a chair. I'm not doing any complicated math or anything. I'm saying go to a chair. We've set, you know, we've set things up such that that so way you don't have cool. to reinvent the wheel anymore. Yeah. And I'm a big believer. I'm a big believer in uh, reusing game engines or trying to make an engine that is flexible to then make it easy to change or easy to do something different with the same engine. And uh, what you say? I'm sorry to interject, but would you say Sims is the hardest game you ever worked on? What's the hardest game you ever worked on? Well, uh, I think it would be The Sims 2. I worked on The Sims 1, and I worked on The Sims 2, and I worked on the My Sims like, French uh, game, games, and, uh, and also The Sims on the console. Sims 2 was a hard game because we had to take the original Sims and make something better and something larger. And we started with a lot of the same things, but we took we took the things we learned and we made a better game with them. And we made a game that could do more because we knew we knew what it would take to make something that could do more. And, and we did it. And last question. What would you have to say for the aspiring designers, programmers, writers, scripters out there who want to work in a company like EA or Sega? How do you get started? What's the best education? What's your best advice? I, what I'm saying? I, I start with uh, uh, you can do it. I would go even uh, uh, previously. I know I know that uh, you're potentially uh, you're talking to people who already know they want to do it. But I know so many people get discouraged a lot earlier. Like I, I didn't actually go to college. I don't have a degree. And I know that in school, I, I mean, I did I did take a lot of classes uh, uh, just so I could get into college. But there was always this idea that that it was it was something that was going to be for the most studious, for the most tedious, for the most you know, insanely dedicated or gifted, and it's, it's not true. When you set your mind to something, you can do it. You just have to believe that, that you can. And it might take time, but if it's what you want to do, it's worth the time. And, and uh, th there are a lot of different ways to get in, you know, through the uh, level design is one way that somebody could get into uh, game design. Uh, uh, Level design is potentially a way that you can get into engineering as well, because so much in level design ends up involving scripting languages, which is programming. Uh, and, 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 and working with stuff that's out there and off the shelf, I don't have uh, as much experience with it, but like things like Unreal, for example, it has a whole suite of tools associated with it. And so much of what we do is not just the programming, it's the whole everything around the game. The tools for getting art into the game, right? being comfortable with, you know, with, with something new, a, a new set, a new application, a new program. So many kids are, are, are used to that, and uh, I think that that's a big factor: is, is is being flexible, realizing it's not all it's not all these zeros and ones, it's not all math, <laughs> it's teamwork, it's uh, it's it's being open to learning new things and learning from yourself and learning from other people. And thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. Your name is again one more time. Uh, I'm Michael Lawson. I am a software engineer on the Sims franchise. Well, EA Electronic Arts. For Electronic Arts. All right, thank you so much.